Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuy.com, and in this video, we'll be comparing using WordPress and Drupal, two free content management platforms. I'll run you through the basics and then give you a few tips on which one should work best for you. If you're ready, let's get started. First off, both WordPress and Drupal are what you'd call content management systems, or CMS for short. They allow us to use a piece of software to manage our website instead of having to learn and put together all of the different coding, images, text, and colors that are incorporated into building a website or a blog. The main difference between the two platforms is that WordPress is primarily a blogging platform that helps you easily manage posts, pages, and themes, while Drupal is more of a website development platform for more advanced users. Both overlap in a few areas and allow you to install plugins, adjust settings in the dashboard, and customize themes to change up the features, as well as the look and feel of your new blog. Here's what WordPress looks like right after installation. The default theme is installed, which has a sidebar on the left, with your title, tagline, the widget area, and your latest blog post published on the right. The dashboard is quite intuitive and allows for a lot of customization, as well as adding new posts, pages, adding and customizing a new theme, installing plugins, and more. As for Drupal, the setup is similar, but a little more limited right out of the box. This is the default theme that shows up after your installation. Here's your site title, the navigation, the sidebar widget area, as well as the homepage content on the right, which is usually your latest articles or blog posts. Behind the scenes, the dashboard is a little more complicated and will take some time to learn and get used to. There's a lot you can do in here, like customize your dashboard view, add content, adjust your site structure, customize the appearance, and manage people, which are also known as your users. While Drupal is a little more complex and will take more time to learn, it's great for developing a more comprehensive website with more custom features and functions. However, this requires you to have extensive knowledge creating and editing code, or invest money into hiring a coder. As for WordPress, the platform is much simpler and includes the opportunity for you to add different features through thousands of free plugins and themes. It's the ideal choice if you're just starting up your blog or website, since it's simple to get started, easy to learn, and you can customize your installation much faster and usually all by yourself. Speaking of which, we have a full free guide on how to start your own WordPress blog easily and affordably today. Just hop on over to firstsiteguide.com to get started. We'd also be happy to help you out with any questions. Take care and enjoy starting your new blog.